Hi guys! How's it going? Did you miss us? <laughs> we have some news. But we wanted to give you a little bit of context first. Yeah, so we just traveled during the global pandemic and learned some things about us along the way. We felt safe in the airline because they all had masks on. We, we felt safe traveling. Social distancing wasn't a big deal. But when we got to the hotel, it was pretty crowded and they did not wear masks. They didn't social mm -hmm. distance. And then the thought of the original plan was to change hotel rooms every night and the thought of having to re -disinf to disinfect a new room each night really was causing me some anxiety and we just nixed it and decided to stay in the same hotel room the entire trip. So we had a great time on the Oregon coast. It was great, yes. but we had to recognize that there was some anxiety there because of the hotel. And because of the pan pandemic. <laughs> so I have been watching during this pandemic a lot of YouTube. <laughs> As anyone would during the pandemic. What else are you going to do? So I chose to start watching usual, my usual go-to was travel videos and it kind of morphed into van lifers. These are people who live in a van and travel all over the place. And one night I just randomly asked him, I was like, so what would you think about getting a van? I was pretty excited. I had made a plug for an RV uh, several years ago. She doesn't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> but I did. And I took it and ran with it. I figured she's going to ask my opinion. She opened a can of worms. And so the can of worms started us researching and researching. We are uh, wanting a very maintenance-free experience with an RV. We wanted something that was going to be uh, easy to maintain and something that was going to be kind of uh, and not have a whole lot of problems with maintenance-wise. So that led us to fiberglass trailers. Uh, fiberglass trailers are not very common here on the eastern uh, part of the United States, but they are common out in the west. We saw them actually several times in we Oregon. We did. Uh, they basically look like an egg on wheels. There's one actually called the Egg Camper, and there's a few manufacturers that make these. Not on the East Coast, but one. But one, uh, and that is Oliver, which is down in Tennessee. So we thought this would be a fantastic opportunity to check out the fiberglass trailers. We actually got to go see one uh, this past weekend. It was called the Jelly Bean. It was Shout out to Brandy and Winston. Thank you. <laughs> very, very pretty, cool, awesome trailer. Uh, we fell in love. We really wanted to get one. It was really cool. And I'm, I'm, I, so we came back and I'm very excited about an Oliver. So we put a deposit down and we're going to get it. It's exciting. It's very stressful. <laughs> Let's be honest. This is a big purchase. But I think it's good because we get to custom build our Oliver. There's only 700 Olivers right now in uh, that exist at all. The only trouble is because we custom built it and there's not a bunch of them, we couldn't find one used. So we decided we were going to have it built our way, but it's not going to get here until January. Yeah, so that was a little bit of a downer, waiting six months for this, but... I think it's going to be an exciting process to build it and design it and decide on some features and things like that. So we're going to have an Oliver for our anniversary. Happy 15 years <laughs> of wooded bliss to us. <laughs> we're excited about it. So stay tuned. We'll take you down to Tennessee with us when we go to pick up our Oliver, which we have already named. <laughs> Pay and ask for Pandemic Escape because that's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. So you will get to meet Pandesk in January 2021. Until then, Ollie Ollie Oxenfree. Oh.